Anna? Uh, yes, um, Josephine? The soup is cool now, but I don't have a spoon. Oh, sorry. And after you're done eating, I will get you your pills as well, okay? Okay. Here it is. Thank you. Got it? Uh-huh. Great. Would you be a dear and get me a Diet Coke, please, too? Yeah, of course. Right. And let me show you. Right mm -hmm. there. Is that good? Thank you. Great. You are a saint. You know, when Gerald was here before he passed, he used to do everything for me. But now, all I have is you. Well, I'm all you'll ever need, Josephine, because I will stay by your side forever. Oh. Now I'll go get those pills. Sweet. Anna? Yes, Josephine. <laughs> Are you sure this is Diet Coke? It tastes uh, sweet. You keep asking me that. Remember? It's a new formula. It tastes just like regular. But no sugar, right? Because my doctor said none at all since my tests were in 200s. That's right. Zero sugar. <laughs> I don't know how they invent such stuff. Tastes good. Oh, thank you very much, Anna. Sure. Oh, can you do me another favor? Couldn't you check the mail for me? Not a problem. Is there anything there from Olivia? I'm still looking through. I don't know yet. Mom, I'm reaching out because I'm starting to get worried. You haven't been answering my calls anymore, so I wanted to write to you. Last time we spoke, you told me your sugar's high and your eyesight wasn't as good as it used to be. But I hope you're still able to see this photo of Emily. She's getting so big now. I know we've had our ups and downs, but I just want you to know I miss you. I hope you're able to read this letter. Please write back to me if you can. Love, Ladybug. Well, anything? Nah, I just junk mail and uh, credit card scams. Just the same old stuff, you know. When she was a little girl, she used to write me letters all the time. And even though we lived in the same house, she would put the letters in the mailbox and then the postman would hand them right back to me. I used to cry every time I was reading those letters. Oh, I miss those days very much. Uh, Josephine, it breaks my heart to hear you so sad. I wish I could do something to cheer you up. Maybe we could try calling Olivia again. We can. But I just hate that whenever we try, she doesn't answer. And it just makes you even more sad. You know, she wanted to talk to you, she would call. Please, just call. Just this one time. I've been praying that she reaches out to me, and I know God will answer my prayers. Mm. Oh, uh, never mind. I'll call her. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll dial the number for you. Just, just relax. Your call has been forwarded to...
Sorry, same thing. But hey, let's take your meds. See your hand. You're gonna feel better after this. And there's your Diet Coke. Anna, you were an absolute angel. I'm sure your mother must have loved you so much, and I'm so lucky that you're in my life. Otherwise, I'd be all alone. The feeling is mutual, Josephine. I, uh, I get such joy out of taking care of you, and I want you to know that no matter what happens, I'll always be here for you. Oh, I, I, I keep forgetting to tell you. I met a great attorney the other day. Are, are you still looking for someone to help you with your will? Thank you. Yes. What is it, Mom? A letter from Grandma, sweetie. Oh, finally. What does it say? Please stop contacting me. I cannot forgive you for what you did. It hurts too much. I no longer want to be in communication with you. So please leave me in peace. Why is she saying that? Hey, girls! I am back! Woohoo! How's it going? How's it going? Hi. Uh, what's wrong? I finally heard back from my mom. Oh. Is she still upset about. Hmm. Well? You're at 120. Really good. Really? I've been feeling so dizzy. I feel like my sugar is so high. Oh, goodness. I haven't heard that in ages. Oh, please, go answer that, Anna. Yes, it could yes. be Olivia Colon. Yes, yes, I'll get it for you, Josephine. Uh. Mom, is that you? Yes, it's me. I can hear you breathing. Hello? Mom, I know that's you. You did this the last time, too. Well, if you aren't going to talk, at least listen, please. Please stop being mad at me. I miss you so much. Emily wants to meet her grandmother. Mom, if you don't... Um, sounds like a really nice offer, but we're actually happy with our internet service, so thank you very much. Goodbye. Well, I'm guessing that isn't my daughter. No. Telemarketer. I had to hang up on them. Ugh. God, they're always targeting the elderly. Yes. Well, I'm grateful that you were looking out for me. Yeah, well, somebody's got to protect you. I was so hoping that was Olivia. You know, I can't believe that I haven't heard from her. We've had our differences, but I thought that she would be reaching out by now. <coughs> Especially considering <coughs> considering a, I, I may not have much time left. Oh, Josephine. Don't say that. Oh. You've got a lot of life left to live. Here. Have some more diet soda. This will help clear your cough. Got it? Good. Here you are helping me. And my own daughter, she will have nothing to do with me. And I always thought blood is thicker than water. Yeah. Not always. You know, go ahead. Call that attorney you told me about, the one that can help me with my will. 
Whatever you think is best, Josephine. You almost done? Uh, I don't get why I have to make a website and a business card. She's blind. She can't even see it. It's not for her, genius. It's for anyone who starts snooping around after the will's finalized. It's got to look legit. We can't have anybody be suspicious at all. Can you do that? I made your phony caretaker application work, didn't I? Darn. I knew I should have taken some food from her house today. No, what you should have done was robbed her like we agreed in the first place. This whole will idea is taking too long. How many times do I have to tell you? She doesn't keep any money in the house. But don't worry, we're getting there. She's completely cut off from her family, so no one can stop us now. And then what? After we update the will, when do we get paid? Patience. Yeah, we still gotta wait for her to kick the bucket. But uh, don't worry, because I have been working on that. Pretty sweet. <laughs> and this time, after the old lady kicks the bucket, I'm finally gonna get what I deserve. Not like what happened last time. Not like the situation with... Well... Hey, uh, let's go get you a new suit so that her, her neighbors won't be suspicious. Oh. Who dresses you anyway? <laughs> I'm sorry, Douglas. I, I haven't been feeling very well lately. That's quite all right. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, the more medication I take and the more sugar I stay away from, the worse it gets. I, it's so strange. You're going to be okay, Josephine. And no matter what else happens, I'll always be with you. I know your vision impaired. So Anna can review anything that you need her to. Mm -hmm. As we discussed over the phone, 100% of what you leave behind will now be going to her, Anna Sophia Porter. You know, I already said this, Josephine, but this really isn't necessary. I mean, the reason I'm here is, is out of the goodness of my heart and for no other reason. <laughs> well, who else am I going to leave it to? I know. My husband's gone, my only daughter's not answering my calls. I, I talked it through with Doug, and he was really helpful to help me make up my mind on the phone. And I trust his judgment, especially hearing that he's now uh, attending the church that I used to go to. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So, all you need to do is sign. I'll take care of the notarization, and we'll get this filed away. Here we go. And here's the line. I'll just show you here, the straight line. So you could start right there, Josephine. OK. Uh, you know, I've never really done any of this kind of legal stuff before. Gerald always took care of it. God bless his soul. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace. Okay, you ready? Oh, is that the doorbell? I didn't I didn't hear anything. Did you hear anything, Doug? Nope. Oh, yes, it is the door. Would you would you please go and, and answer that? Of course. Hi. I don't know who that would be. Sorry, kid. Wrong house. Um, excuse me. I'm looking for my grandmother, Josephine. Grandmother? Um, sorry. Uh, your grandmother told me that if you or your mother ever come to visit, not to let you in. And, uh, as a matter of fact, I have a message for your mommy from Grandma. She told me she doesn't want to talk to her. Never again. She doesn't want to see her or hear from her. So no texts, no emails, no letters. Olivia? Olivia who, she said. That's right. 
She told me the two of you mean nothing to her. But, but we're family. <laughs> yeah, right. Not anymore, kid. <laughs> Who was it, dear? Oh, no one is a uh, wrong house. Oh. You ready to go finish the will? Uh, all right. Grandma doesn't want to see us. Oh. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I had a feeling this might happen. I knew this was a bad idea. I just don't understand why she's so mad at you. What happened? Well, baby, I grew up in a very religious household, and my parents wanted me to marry someone of the same faith and have a traditional wedding. But I fell in love with your father and his family didn't want him to get married in the church. So we thought to not upset anybody that we would have a courthouse wedding. That sounds nice. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. But my parents didn't think so. My dad stopped talking to me completely. And even when he was dying, he didn't want to see me. And grandma, my mom and I would talk sometimes, but it was just never the same. And I think after my dad passed away, she held it against me because I basically never heard from her again. Do you regret it? Regret what, sweetheart? Regret marrying dad. Oh, um. Honestly, sometimes in the beginning, but it was only because I missed my parents so much. But once I had you, I never looked back. All right, let's get out of here since Grandma said she doesn't want to see us. Grandma didn't say that. What? It was just some random lady. Perfect. We are all set here. Congratulations. Oh, no, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, oh, I really think it was very helpful of you. And uh, tell Pastor Daniels hello from me. Who? Pastor Daniels at the church? Oh, right. Yes, I certainly will. All right, well, it was a pleasure assisting you, Josephine. Well, we can walk you out, yes? No, mm -hmm. My cane. <laughs> Thank you. Go. <coughs> oh, Josephine, that cough is sounding worse. <laughs> I'll get your meds after this, and we'll put you to bed a little early, okay? Thanks, Doug. Mom? Ladybug, is that you? Yeah, Mom, it's me. Can you not see us at all right now? Oh, Olivia, my baby. Oh, you're really here. I've missed you so much. I miss you too, Grandma. And who might this be? It's me, Emily. Oh. <laughs> Goodness, little Emily is so big. <laughs> All my prayers have been answered. Not a second goes by that I don't think of you both. But Mom, I don't understand. I thought you were mad at us. We've been trying to contact uh, you for a while. I'm sorry to interrupt this reunion, but Josephine really needs to go to bed, take her meds, and get some rest. <laughs> no. so thank you. Rest. I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, this is Anna. She's my caretaker. She is so kind and loyal and trustworthy. <laughs> and you are? I'm Doug. <clears throat> I'm your mother's estate attorney. And a friend of Anna's. And we've been going over my will and documents and things like that. Is so this a necklace? Sorry. No, it's mine. 
Which one is it? My ladybug necklace, the one that you gave me when I was a kid. Anna is wearing it right now. No. <laughs> that can't be, because yours is safe in a drawer near my bed. I got this at a swap meet. They're pretty popular, you know, a lot of people have them. So if I were to look in my mother's dresser right now, the necklace would still be there? Of course. Come on in. <laughs> All right. I've had enough of this. Family time is over. Oh my God. Mom, he's got a gun get behind me. Douglas, why would an attorney have a gun? I don't know, Mom. I don't think he's a real attorney. We came here for money, and we ain't leaving until we get it. Give me that before you do something dumb. Anna, what are you doing? Do you know all about this? Mom, please tell me you did not add her to your will. I did. Oh my God, now I get it. It all makes sense. You have been trying to separate me from my mom. Why? Over money? I never got what I deserved. So you don't deserve to get anything either. Got it? What are you talking about? I was a good daughter. Much better than you. And all I got for it was nothing. You see, a few years ago, my mom got very sick. I did everything I could to take care of her. I fed her, gave her her medicine, bathed her, and never left her side. She went from staying at home to staying in the hospital. Not too long after she got there, she passed away. It was one of the hardest days of my life. When I went to go meet with her attorney to go over her will, do you know what I found? Instead of leaving everything to me, the only person who stayed by her side through everything, she gave it all to charity. I couldn't believe it. So you see, I was there for my mom. Just like I've been for your mom. Unlike you, Olivia. But this time, I'm not gonna make a mistake. This time, I'm gonna get what I deserve. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. It seems my plan is working. Plan? Hmm. What have you been doing to my mother? Oh. She thinks I've been giving her medicine, but really I've been giving her sugar pills, and instead of Diet Coke, I've been giving her regular Coke. So she th thinks her sugar's going down, but really it's ooh, sky high. Oh, goodness. Oh, I don't feel very well. And I, oh, my pain in my chest. Oh. Mom, I told you she was so close, Douglas. Just in time. Go get me a towel. Back off! Let me check her pulse. Don't you move. You! On the ground, too, over here. Emily, honey, go call the police. Stop pushing me. Move it. How's she doing? Your mom is one tough lady. She's gonna be completely fine. Just no more sugary drinks. Yeah, no, trust me, she will be in much better hands from here on out. Glad to hear it. Oh, honey. Hi. Oh my gosh, are you girls okay? It was scary, but Grandma saved us. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you two girls. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm glad you're okay too, Josephine. We all have been worried about you. Oh. Thank you, Rajit. It's been a long time. And I, I just want to say I'm sorry. Whether you were married in a church or a temple or a courthouse, it doesn't matter. God is God. He protects us all and we should have supported you. I love you so much, Mom. Oh, I love you too, honey. And you know, something I, I never told you is that your dad in his final moments, he regretted everything. He wanted you there and 
he was so sorry that he wasn't talking with you, and, and I don't want to have that same regret, so please don't ever stop talking to me. <laughs> are you kidding? I don't want to ever leave your side again. We are family. It's like you always used to say, blood is, is thicker, thicker than water. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I believe this is for you guys. Thank you. What is it? Oh, it's a ladybug necklace. Huh. And uh, your will. Oh, give me the will. Yeah. There's going to be another will. <laughs> huh. uh, Honestly, Mom, I don't need anything from you. I just want you to be in our lives again. Oh, and who says I'm going to give you anything? <laughs> I'm leaving everything to my Emily. Wow. <laughs> Grandma? Yes. Can you live with us, please? Oh, I would love to, if it's okay with your parents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs>